We're here at beautiful Todd Creek Golf Club with our guest, Josh Cassidy. Josh, appreciate you joining us. Colton, thanks for having me, man. You got it. Well, people may not understand about World Long Drive contestants. And if you don't know, Josh is ranked 13th in the world in the World Long Drive Tour. But what people don't know is it's just not show and go, gripping and ripping, right? There's a process to, to get into that first contest and it's the practice, practice session. Um, so when you show up to our range, what's the first thing that you do? You know, I like to work through the bag. I like to hit some wedges, hit some irons, and then ultimately get to the big dog and go full speed. What's kind of the process of using those irons, working the way up through that iron progression? What's the process? In that? So I'm just trying to hit solid shots, get a good ball flight, really feel the club, and ultimately get the body primed to go full speed. Now, I'm guessing it's it's maybe a wedge, uh, a nine iron, a seven iron, maybe a driving iron. Is that kind of the progression there? Yeah, exactly. And you know, each swing gets a little bit faster. Um, each swing has a little bit different goal in mind. But yeah, I typically hit, you know, 16 to 20 balls with those irons just to get warmed up. So Josh, now that we've worked through the irons, now it's time for the big stick. Now it's time to have some fun. Now we get the, now now we the get fun part, right? Fun. Absolutely. So I'm gonna start with just my normal playing driver here. And this is the main difference between, you know, a playing product and then a long drive competition club. Both USGA legal, it's the distance. It's, it's yeah, the length the of length. the driver mm -hmm. that changes. Is that a 48? So this is a 48. Typical playing driver is a 46 for me. You know, most of the time it's 45 and a half off the rack. 46 here. And this one, you know, I'll be able to touch 135, 140 mile an hour club head speed. This one's upwards of 150 to 152 miles an hour. Okay. That extra length yeah. you know, provides quite a bit of speed. Right. We'll see hit a couple fairways with that guy. Let's see what we got. Not a bad first swing with the driver. Not a bad. A little low. Carry distance was 335. Ball speed at the gate was 208. It's not bad. Not bad there. It's a pretty good start. Right. All right, that's about as well. That's about as well as I'm going to hit a play driver. Yeah, that was uh, total total carry distance 347, uh, ball speed 215, um, and it didn't even register his club head speed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's see the numbers we can generate with the big dog. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. In competition, on the golf course, did it pick it up? Yes, it did. You know, that was uh, 404 carry distance, 450 total distance, 214 ball speed. Didn't pick up your club head speed, but your spin was 2800. Okay. So that spin needs to come down, correct? So just a hair spin. Appreciate you coming out. Absolutely. Having some fun, showing the audience kind of what it takes to be a long drive tour contestant and your process, so appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me, man, that was a blast.